Hello and welcome again. Uh, this is a second example of finding uh, the GCD between two numbers and also finding uh, how we can express the GCD as a combination of two numbers. In this case, we have 973, 301. I want to do two things. First thing is I want to find the GCD of those numbers, the greatest common divisor. And I also want to write down that greatest common divisor as a multiple of the first number, which is 973, plus a multiple of the second number, which is 301, which is what I have here. So I have three things to find, the GCD, the number S, and the number T. So we get started exactly the same as we get started with all the problems with the GCD. We're going to apply the Euclidean algorithm, but we're going to add a, a little extra step to find the values of S and T in this case. So I'm going to take the numbers and start doing repeated division. So my first step would be to divide the, the largest number, which is in this case, 973 divided by 301. So I'm going to do that in here. So what I have is I have 973. I'm going to divide it by 301. All right. So the number of times that 301 is in uh, 973 is 3. So I'm going to, this is going to be my quotient. Now I multiply three times that number, which is, gives me, of course, 901 and I subtract that from this number. So that, of course, gives me uh, three, 903, of course, here, 903. Okay, so that, of course, is gonna give me, in this case, uh, is gonna be 70. Okay, now if this were the normal Euclidean algorithm, I will just stop there, but because I'm doing the, exten the extended, which is actually finding the S and the T, I have to write this down in terms of what we have. So what I can write down here is say, this guy, 973, is equal to the quotient, which is three times the divisor plus the remainder. So I'm gonna write down that equation. So that equation will be 973 is equal to three times 301 plus 70. And that's exactly that equation that is right here. This one is saying exactly the same. Uh, what it says over here. Now remember what you need to do is actually uh, solve for the remainder. So I'm going to isolate the remainder in this case. So in that case, what I'm going to have is 973 minus 3 times 301 is equal to 70. And I'm going to mark that down as uh, some equation that I'm going to use later. So I'm going to use this equation later. Now I keep going because I need to stop once I get the remainder equal to zero. So remember, the next thing I have to do is I have to take this number, 301, divided by 70 now. So that's the next operation I'm going to do here. So I'm going to mark down that as number two. So that will be number two. So I'm going to write down uh, 301 divided by 70. And I have to calculate how many times is 70 into 301. Okay, that's going to be a number of four times there. If I multiply there, I get, of course, 280. So I'm going to subtract 280 from 301. So in this case, I'll get 21. And that will be the remainder. Now, that will be the usual just division here. But remember, we need to write down the equation that corresponds to this division that is right here, which means is 301, the dividend is equal to the quotient, which is 4, times the divisor, plus the remainder. So I have 301. Let me write it down over here. So I have 301 will be equal to uh, 4 times 70 plus the remainder, that's a times there, plus the remainder, which is a 21. And now remember, you need to solve for the remainder again. And the remainder here is as 21. So I'm going to solve for that remainder because I always have to do that, always solve for the remainder. So, or isolate it. So in this case, I'm going to get the following thing. It's going to be uh, 301 minus 4 times 70, and that's equal to 21, which is my remainder. I'm going to put that in a box because I'm going to use it later. Now, you have to keep going because you need to stop whenever the remainder is 0. Now, let's see the next step. So that will be step number 3. So what I do now is, remember, as always, the division algorithm is you're going to take 70, and you're going to divide it by 21. So let me do that operation here. So I'm going to get 70 divided by uh, 21. 
And now I compute how many times is uh, 21 into 70. That is actually just uh, three times. If I multiply three times 21, that gives me 63. And if I subtract this, then it gives me seven. Now, again, I have to write down this whole thing again as an equation, which means the dividend 70 is equal to the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. So let me write down that equation. So I have 70 is equal to three times 21 plus seven. And again, you always have to solve for the remainder. So in this case, I will get uh, 70 minus three times, this is multiplication, 21, and it's equal to seven. And I'm gonna put that in a box because I'm gonna use it later. So as you can see here, this is a little bit longer process because the previous one was a little bit short. Now, and finally, then we're gonna get zero here because if you can see there, what I need to do is I need to take 21 and divide it by seven. So that will be my last step. So my last step four, let me write it down over here. That will be, I'm gonna take my 21 and I'm gonna divide it by seven. Now, 7 goes into 21 three times, of course, and so 7 times 3 is 21, so minus 21, that's going to give me 0. Now, once you get the 0 here, what means is that the previous remainder is the GCD. So in this case, the GCD will be the previous remainder, which is 7. So the GCD between the numbers, the original numbers, is 7. So at least I found one of the answers I was looking for already. Let me scroll all the way up here. So the greatest common divisor between 173 and 301 is 7. So let me write that down. So the GCD, so let me write it down over here. So the conclusion will be that uh, the GCD between 973 and 301 is the number 7. Now that's one part. The next part is I need to write down the number 7 as a multiple of this number, 973, plus a multiple of this number, which is this one, 301. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use all these uh, equations that we have here in the boxes. So this equation that is here, this one, and this one, those all, all the ones that came from the division algorithm. And you're always gonna start with the very last one. So I'm gonna start with this guy. So what I'm going to say is that 7 is equal to this expression here. So I'm going to write it down over here. So I'm going to say 7 uh, is equal to this expression that I have here, which is 70. Let me write it down right here. 70 minus 3 times 21. 3 times 21. And you'll just leave it like that. What you do here is you're going to replace in here the re the previous remainder. So what was the previous remainder before this this one here? The previous remainder was 21. So whatever I see 21 now, I'm going to replace it with this expression that I have right here, this one. So I'm going to replace that 21 over here. So I'm going to mark that down. Let me mark that down with color. So I'm going to replace this 21 that you see here, that 21, I'm going to replace it with this expression that I have over here, this one. All right, so let me do that in here. So what I have is, I still have seven on the left-hand side, so I have seven. That's equal to 70 minus three, and I'm gonna replace the 21 by the equation I'll just show you, which was 301 minus four times 70 of 70 times four. It doesn't matter because it's, um, uh, it's commutative. So this one here, this is the one that I just replaced. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now what you need to do is you multiply by this guy, negative three. So I'm gonna multiply by that. So I'm gonna get, let's see, this is 70 minus three times 301. You're gonna leave the remainders alone. So, and, and this number's here. So if you multiply negative three, I'm gonna multiply it by negative four, right? Not the remainder, that is 70 there. So that's gonna give me uh, negative 3 times negative 4, if I'm just doing here this distributive law, 3 times 301, negative 3 times negative 4, that's a 12, so it's going to give me plus 12, that multiplies uh, 70. 
Okay, and as you can see here, there is some common uh, things here. I have a 70 here, and I have 12 70s there. So basically what I have here, I have 13 70s because I have 12 here and one here. So I can simplify this a little bit more and I can say I have 12 times uh, 70 minus 3 times 301. And that's still the number 7. Now what you're going to do now is we're going to use the last replacement which is in here. I'm going to replace the, the last remainder. And the remainder here was uh, 70. So 70 was the remainder. So I'm going to scroll all the way up here. We already used this equation. We already used this equation. Now I have to use this one. So I'm going to replace 70, the number that I have here. I'm going to replace it by this expression that I have here, which is 973 minus 3 times 301. So I'm going to replace that 70, whatever I see it there in my last equation. So where do I see it? I see it. Let me mark that down with color. So this is the 70 that I'm going to replace. So let's see that. Now this number is still 7 here on this side. So let's see 7 is equal to 12. And I remember what was the equation. The equation for 70 was 973 minus 3 times 301. And I still have minus 3 times 301. And this was the one that was over here already. Right? This one goes here. The 70 was replaced by whatever the value was. And I still have the 12 there. Now, let's do exactly the same thing. I'm going to multiply by 12 this here. Don't, don't multiply 973. Just leave it indicated. So I'm going to say this is 12 times 973. Don't multiply the 301 because those are important numbers. Just multiply the coefficient that is here. So it's going to be 12 times this one that's going to give me negative 36 negative oh my God. oops i made a mistake here and that was actually supposed to be a 13 so i hope you guys didn't get confused there so it's going to be 13 all right yeah that was because uh, that was uh, 12 here and 70 that gave me 13 there hope you didn't get confused with that all right so let's keep going so this is going to give me minus uh 39 that multiplies 301 and I have minus 3 that multiplies 301. Now, how many 301s do I have here? I have negative 39 and I have negative 3, so I have negative 42. So, in finally, I'm gonna get again, this is a 13 here. This is a 13. 13 times 973 minus 42 times 301. Now, and I can organize this in the following way because this is commutative. So this is exactly the same as saying 973 times 13. And I can write down the next one like this. Plus 301 times negative 42. So these numbers that you see there, 13 and negative 42, uh, this is the S and this is the T that we were looking for. So we could express the greatest common divisor, which is 7 in this case. 7 is the greatest common divisor. is a multiple of 973 and a plus another multiple of 301. And the numbers S and T are these numbers that are here. So we achieved the goal we wanted to achieve. Let me scroll all the way up here. So what we were doing in this case is we're trying to find this S and T. Remember, this number is now 7 because we computed 7 is 973 times a number plus 301 times another number t. And the numbers we found in this case after this a little bit longer process, the s number here is 13 and t would be negative 42. Now, if you actually go ahead and check this, this is actually going to work. 973 times 13 plus 301 times negative 42 will give you exactly the number 7 that you have over here. So that's basically... Um, how do you find the S and the T here for numbers? Of course, this process will take a longer time if then if the, you have more divisions. The more divisions you have, uh, the more replacements you have to do, the more algebra you have to do. And of course, you have to be very careful when you multiply. So, but this is the basic idea. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an algorithm, which can be, uh, of course, programming in any language, which you actually compute this, uh, the greatest common divisor and the S and the T that we want uh, 
for the theorem. So I'm going to stop the video now and I will see you in the next video with the algorithm.